In this step, I'm going to show you how to use Excel Solver to optimize the objective function value. In this case, we want to maximize the profit. So, we're going to go to the Tools menu and find Solver in the Tools menu. If Solver is not in your Tools menu, even after expanding it, you're going to have to click on Add-ins and then manually tell Excel to install this add-in. But on my computer, it's already installed, so I'm going to click on Solver. And you see something that looks familiar to the Goal Seek dialog box. Here the set target cell is for your objective function value. For us, let me move this out of the way, for us in this example, the objective function value is profit. So this is the cell that I select to put into the set target cell area. And then, because it's a profit function, we need to make sure it's maximized. Luckily, it's already selected for us. The next step is to enter in the changing cells area of the dialog box. Excel wants to know which values are you trying to find and in this case we're trying to find the decision variables in other words Excel will change the decision variables until it finds an optimal profit or a maximum profit so I simply click inside this box and click and drag to highlight the cells I want to enter in and then I let go and it automatically enters those in there are other ways of doing this if you want to know you can ask me later now we're going to enter in the constraints I'm going to drag this dialog box so we can see the constraints <clears throat> to add a constraint you click the add button in this area and I ju I'm just going to click that now add and it brings up a new dialog box the cell reference on this side needs to correspond with a function cell below. In this case the first constraint will be the steel constraint. And then I need to click this box to make sure that it's less than or equal to. And the constraining amount I have typed it in this cell. 5000. So what Excel will do then is it will try to change those decision variables until it reaches a maximum point but it's going to keep this cell lower than this cell so it's going to abide by those constraints and so then I click OK once I've added that constraint in and you see it here to add more constraints I do it the same way I click add I click in the cell reference area I click in the cell below, make sure it's less than or equal to in this example problem, and select the cell where the constraint is. Okay, and I'm going to do that one more time for the machine constraint. Okay, and now we're ready to solve, almost. The last step is we want to change the options. So I'm going to click on options, and the only thing I need to worry about on this whole dialog box is right here. We want to assume that it's a linear model because it is. We want to assume that it's non-negative. And then we click OK. And then we click Solve. And then it asks, all constraints, well it says all constraints and optimal optimality conditions are satisfied. Do you want to keep the solution? Click OK. And as you can see, it only picked camshafts to make, but it's OK because it's the only way to maximize the profits. And that is how the solver dialog box works.